Hello once again guys. In the this JavaScript tutorial we're going to be learning a few things. First of all, how to make a text uh, warning box thing that prints out something on it that you can decide yourself and also how to activate it. So the first way to do it, I'm going to create a box called uh, do something. All right. Uh going to put it out. That sounds pretty reasonable. So what you'll need to do is to use a function called alert. And inside here comes normal text. And it's just like document write. It just comes up as text. Uh, you can do like uh, hello world. And uh, the way I do uh, I need to call it down here. The way I've scripted it, it will come up uh, when we first load the web page. But not again. So you can see here it says hello world. Now let's go ahead and uh, try out with the variable. Call the variable uh, test. I'm gonna set this equals to um, hello world. Uh, so let's go ahead and remove this and type in test instead. Uh, oh, Steam got online. Cool. So uh, go ahead and Chrome. Chrome it say still says hello world. So you can of course use normal variables and stuff like that. Now, um, let's go ahead and try to make some ways, or I still need to have it like, here, alert, uh, you have activated, uh, JavaScript, I'm just gonna type in that, pretty long message, um, so, let's try to, uh, uh, do some things, first of all, we can, go into our body, uh, type in unload and then uh, we can type in do something and it will and if we go ahead and remove this down here that activates it uh, what it will do is basically telling um, and this is a JavaScript command by the way it's telling the body to load uh, do something so if we go ahead and run this it doesn't work because I probably missed something up uh, but that's not Oh, yeah, I did. I forgot to add these guys here. So if we go ahead and run it, you can see it comes up. You have activated JavaScript. So this is a way of loading it, but it's not much better than the way we just learned. Then there's another way, and uh, that is by doing go into a body and create a link, h heraf, and set this equal to a slash. What this basically means it's something on the website and not outside and let's use a javascript function called on click so this means when you click it it will do something I'm, and we're going to set this equal to do uh, something uh, and remember set the parentheses this time and uh, we can just type in click me to activate uh, js this stands for javascript Alright, so if we go ahead and uh, save it and run it, what we'll have now is if we click here, we'll activate the, our function. Now, this is useful because uh, uh, I'm going to show you in another video example where we're going to be doing this with text. Um, uh, of course, there's a few ways of doing this, uh, but this is one of the most few uh, ways. So basically, that's it for the tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.